Hi all, I know this is a very exciting game which has been played in the European Cup, which I thought I could share with you. Shakyar <laughs> Mamidyarov was playing against Nizipenu. So this is in round 2.1. Uh, let's see what happened. D4 for Mamidyarov. We have D5, C4, Queen's Gamut accepted. E3, Knight F6. Bishop takes c4, e6, knight f3, c5, white castles, a6. It looks fairly standard stuff until here. This is a bit of a rarer continuation than bishop b3. This is like the main line, it seems. Bishop b3, and we have a position like this emerging, which looks like a bit dry, actually, symmetrical pawn structure. So this is a very interesting way of playing the position, b3 b5 bishop drops back knight bd7 a4 challenging that pawn b takes rook takes so both sides have a target here interestingly at least it's a not a symmetrical pawn structure there's a lot to play for for both sides bishop b2 now bishop e7 knight bd2 black castles and now a nifty looking move i wonder if you can guess what was played here the first nifty looking move queen a1 it's nice to do that like the bishop battery across the diagonal and pressure on a6 it's simultaneous pressure nice knight b6 hitting the rook the rook moves for a moment and now with this pawn attacked actually black plays c takes we have bishop takes knight bd5 is black solid here white plays knight c4 Knight b4 and now bishop c3. Bishop d5, knight fd2, queen c7, and things get really interesting now. Based on this battery, there's a really great move that's available for white that is played in this position. Can you guess? Okay, e4. Yep, does a few things. Now black played knight takes e4. You see that diagonal wide open now for white to be able to take on g7. <clears throat> but um, bishop takes is not particularly pleasant either. This sort of continuation is not particularly good looking for black. As an example, there's horrible threats here. And this is just massive, yeah that g7 issue knight can come in horrible so yeah maybe knight takes e4 is a lesser evil move knight takes bishop takes but then now bishop takes g7 so black's king looks a bit shaky here rook goes to d8 rook f d8 bishop h6 threatening checkmate in one that's parried with f6 here it's already pretty tricky because this rook's already uh, ready to roll in on bishop f8. It looks dangerous. There might be bishop g6 though, but have a look at this. f6 here. So remember there's bishop g6, but what does white play here to try and deflect this bishop away as a defensive resource? If I give you five seconds, white to play. Okay, bishop f3, yeah. Just trying to deflect the bishop away from being able to play bishop g6. And after bishop takes, you might think, what's the idea here? Is it to take and maybe use the g file, shuffle the king? Is there enough time for that? Or is there something stronger? If I give you five seconds here, what would you play with white? Okay. Rook g5 check. Yeah, that pawn's virtually pinned to g7. Can't take that without getting mated. And this leads to a nasty forcing sequence. King f7, check. King e8, and now g takes. We have queen c6. And now actually, well, it seems to attack the pawn. Just rook c1 is played in this position. Yeah, it's it's pretty dangerous. 
black hat tries knight d3 here. Uh, I'll give you an, another alternative. If queen c5, rook e1, and it's unbearable actually the pressure down the e file because uh, white could build up on, on the e pawn. If it ever moves, then knight and takes e5 is just crashing through on that e file. This position it's just crashing through. There's like three pieces now on the, on the bishop. That's an example of the devastation down the e file. So yeah, black hasn't really got time to take on f3 or anything. Uh, he's yeah under great pressure here. Uh, so yeah, knight d3 was tried. On knight d5, just show you this as an alternative. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, here, as an alternative to e5, uh, knight d5 in this position, knight a5, rook takes, yeah, it's just massively good for white, so uh, massively better. Okay, so let's go back to the main line of the game. Knight d3, check, and it's not really that long to go. For the conclusion here because after king d7 guess what white plays this is move 29 yep picks up the queen knight e5 check just picks up the queen so knight takes e5 rook takes d8 and um yeah i think the game ended around here takes d8 check in fact uh, an example continuation. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, because Black's losing the queen. Would be rook takes, rook takes, knight takes, queen takes, and um, the queen's too strong really uh, for the two pieces in this position. The pawn's immune here because of queen a4 check. This kind of scenario, yeah, Black's going to just be broken down eventually. So, yep. Black didn't want to play that out. Very, very interesting game, I thought. Hope you enjoyed it. Comments, questions, likes, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.